Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to try something that I am so hesitant to do because I'm kind of like, um, I sulk about this. Baking is something that I consider so time consuming and unnecessary and, um, it's not really an Instagram fad because it's been around for years. It's, it's been used in theatre for years and years and years and years before YouTube, before the internet, you know? Drag queens use it to feminise this area, to soften out the whole area. So it's not really a new trend. I don't like it because as a professional makeup artist, doing this every day on clients, it's kind of given some people an expectation. It's like, are you not gonna bake? And it's like, we have like 10 minutes. Like, why would I bake your face when we have 10 minutes? Um, <laughs> also as well, it worries me because the skin under the eye doesn't produce as much oil as the whole rest of the face. So the thought of packing on a powder which absorbs oil kind of scares me because I'm thinking it's just going to be dry and crusty. But here's the thing, I've seen people do it online and it looks great. However, in real life, I don't know, it could be crap. So I'm going to try it today for the first time on myself ever. And I'm not looking forward to it, I have to be honest with you, but this is me, <laughs> you know, I might love it, who knows. So I've watched a few tutorials, I kind of got like the best advice from the good um, gurus, the ones I actually trust, um, <laughs> and saw how they did it. So I'm going to imitate that and just see how we get on with it. So I bought this concealer today, this is from CYO. I've never heard of them before. High coverage concealer. Um, it's a cover up, it says on the back, that's cute. And this is a shade fair. I probably should have got a darker shade, but let's go ahead and just do this. So I'm gonna apply this to this whole area here to brighten it up a little bit. So with an artificial hair brush. And you know what, I, this is quite light, but I've seen people darker than me use a lighter shade. So it's not exactly like the craziest thing ever. So when I highlight the face myself, I use um, actual high, um, not highlighting powders, but sculpting powders. And this is the area, on me, according to my bone structure, that I would um, sculpt. Oh, fucking hell. I'm just gonna go up the side of the nose slightly because I want my nose to look a little bit smaller. And let's go down the bridge of the nose. And I just go in this little bit here. Well, I look like a fucking idiot. I have a damp beauty blender here, just damp, not like wet. And I'm just gonna go around the edges. Right, I look like a ghost and that's fine. So right here I have a baking powder from Obsession London. And this is actually a baking powder. It says baking powder on it. So I guess it's for baking. So it's an ultra fine powder, which is what you need apparently. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it doesn't have any, like, um, okay. Sorry, if you can hear background noise, like, everyone has decided to do everything today, so I apologise. I'm gonna take my powder on the corner of the beauty blender here, and I'm gonna apply it everywhere where I've put that kind of concealer, or kind of in the shape we want to bake. My nose is gonna look great though. <laughs> That's what I want my nose to be like. So according to um, <laughs> other YouTubers, I'm gonna leave this for about five minutes and then we're gonna dust it off. So, so it's been around five minutes. This, when did that happen? This literally feels like it's gripping and drying and sucking up any moisture from my skin. It feels really, really tight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a powder brush, very soft. I'm going to put a tiny bit of powder on the end here and start to buff away all this, um, bakeness. Jesus Christ. Okay, so honestly, on camera it looks, it actually looks okay. Obviously I look really pale because I just sat with a load of white powder on my face. Close up though, look how creased under my eyes has gone. It's all dry. 
so smooth though, it's really soft. That was really my main concern was how crusty it would be underneath my eyes. Let's try some setting spray on top of this and see if it helps. Nope. So I'm just going to bronze in the areas kind of opposite to where we baked. Oh, that is one orange bronzer compared to the rest of my skin now. Okay, so usually this bronzer looks really nice, but I think the white, pure whiteness of my face is making it look really orange. <sighs> okay, so I, I, I really don't know what to think. I think this is ridiculous. It looks like I'm trying to like, do like, um, like a celebrity transformation. Like I've literally drawn my face on. Um, yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Maybe I use a little bit too much powder. Maybe I should have used less. It's still a little bit, um, no, it's a lot creasy under the eye. Like what the fuck? This side is kind of just like sat in this crease here. Oh, there's hairs all over my face. To be fair, I do have awful skin at the moment. <laughs> it's horrible. I hate it. I hate it. So I can see the benefit, kind of. Like, it kind of works. But at the same time, I really don't... Oh, I wonder if I go back over my... non-powder side of the beauty blender. Still no. Okay, fine. I won't do it again. So if you guys like baking or you're an expert at baking, please let me know what I did wrong. Maybe I did too much powder. Why don't I like it? I just, I can't bring myself to think it's a good idea. I really can't. Anyway, guys, I thought my mind would change. I thought I'd be really happy. Like I said, let me know what I'm doing wrong below. <laughs> please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye.